You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old Fate Weaver, eh? Fate Weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Trust me, I've known that for a long time. Nobody can change fate. Poor old Fomidus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. It's a shame he'll be dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. I wish I could, but times are tough. I've barely got enough to pay my bar tabs as it is. You! You're the one! Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes. Other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... I am. But still, I've never seen someone whose fate was just... missing. 
Not even when I was drunk as the King of Ballads. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. Damn it, it's the truth. At least, I think it is. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to hear what the cards say, can you? What could this all mean? in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden nut. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. Everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. I'm exhausted. Keep moving. This business doesn't concern you. Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fey, I'd suggest you move along. No reason to be out in the open with the Red Legion about. Bandits, but no ordinary bandits. Surely you've heard of Red the Dead Edward. 
They say he drinks the blood of his captives, that he consumes their souls. Or perhaps those are just rumors. You should be fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, your life is in your hands. Uh. Uh. Be careful in the forest. Uh. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Uh. 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 Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Hope you stay in town. Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. You could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. Bring me proof you've dealt with them, I'll pay in coin, and my good word. <laughs> Osgar hides somewhere in the woods north of here. Medgar was last seen east of his brother's camp. Bring me their legion daggers, and I'll pay with coin, and a commendation to join the order. Right then. Kirk will protect us. <laughs> Pull up a stool, stranger. We don't have much, but what we have won't leave a hole in your pocket. Are you here about that fey girl they found outside?
don't be a stranger. Faith, here. <laughs> Can't talk. Herc doesn't like loafers. Will get yeah, what can I get you? What do you want?
Need something? Yeah, what can I get you? Don't let your guard down. Yeah, what can I get you?
just talking to you. <laughs> Get you. Don't be a stranger. Need supplies? Try the corner shop. Mm.
May your hollow gods keep you mortal. I am called Eri. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. Farewell. How might I assist you, young one? Farewell. mission hiding? Why are its gates forever closed? These are the questions we all should be asking. The bricks of St. Odwig's were laid upon a foundation of exclusion and hate. How else do you explain their fear? They know the walls will topple. Nauseous, itchy. Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. His name was Karth Hilfred, 
I found him one morning outside my door, picking through the ember eyes. I was impressed how well he knew his way around a plant. I've never seen one so eager to learn. I do not deserve such good will after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnurfar Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhall, the Arathi ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. Farewell. What is it? You made it. Just in time, too. Give me the potion. It will help, but it's not enough. Someone must go to the Fey and explain what happened here. One small misunderstanding and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fey. We'll be enemies. I'm not sure yet. But this is bad. She's Fae. Even worse, she's a knight in the House of Ballads. Fae don't kill their own, so it must have been someone in Gorhart. If the House of Ballads learns of this, the king will burn Gorhart to the ground. They see all mortals as invaders. We could go to the Warsworn and get an oath of protection, but that would require payment. We mustn't cover this up. But who do we tell? You're turning out to be very helpful, my friend. You have my gratitude. I'll see to it that you're honored. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters not far from here, in Glendara to the northeast. Try to gain entrance if you can. Farewell. What is it? Hey there. Yeah, what can I get you? Don't be a stranger. Welcome to Gorhart. Come in. Welcome to Gorhart. The last settlement.
Pact before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? Come see me again. In the country of Nirilim's embrace, the summer manifests as an immortal fae. You know her, him, it, as the resplendent warrior or the ardent conqueror. You mortals named him King Issa. In the youth of your people's memory, you bore witness to Issa's exploits. He is your legend of might and eminence. Come, listen to a tale of Issa and On, the God Storm. The Withering War. Finally, someone that looks like they could stand up to a moderate breeze. There's need for an adventurer such as yourself. Me and a crew are mounting an expedition to a new land south of here. Ah, clever and strong, I see. It's as I said, we're going to the teeth of Naros, the land south of Dalentarth. If you want more information, seek Helic Cross. He's leading us. We're camped beyond Ettenmere. Fine. What is it? Speak with me. Two legs. Two legs, please help me. Are the two legs are cruel? They will not help. No. I am cast! You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf, cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. I still have wolf thoughts in my head. 
But two leg bodies are so clumsy, they can't even catch the meat birds. I must be changed her back. The sprites are near. Even now I smell them. But I cannot fight in this form. Thank you, two legs. But the task will not be easy. I need water from a magic well, guarded by the sprites that cursed me. Be warned. The sprites have much magic, for the well they guard is older than this wood, and from that they draw their power. The sprites guard the well, which is near the river to the north. Beware them, they have much magic. Return swiftly. <laughs> Proceed no farther, mortal. You are not one of our kind, and the seat of Sir Sagral will never be occupied by one so mundane. Halam the White prepares the contest, and he must not be interrupted at this our time of greatest need. No doubt you speak of Illuvia, impetuous fool. I told her to avoid your settlement to avoid Odoroth altogether. She never listened to my warnings. I will chastise her appropriately upon her return. It is a loss, yes, but not the first unexpected event in this telling. What happened? Yes, I have noticed a growing number of humans in Dalintarth. It must be this war. I can't stay, I understand it. Oh, yes, your kind usually expects some form of trophy for good deeds. A bauble? A prize? Perhaps another time. If you would be so kind as to deliver this message. We mean the people of Gorhart no ill will. They have nothing to fear from us. It is to fill an unoccupied seat in the House of Ballads. 
This is not a mortal concern. If Hallam learns I told you, he may see to it that I am banned from the telling. I should not be seen talking to you. It isn't good for my reputation. Goodbye. Listen, all of you. As One you've clearly heard, a rare vacancy has occurred in the House of Ballads. There has been an event, a great twist in the narrative of our kind. Sir Sagril has fallen. Sagril, slayer of Ozigan, defender of the crown of Haxi, has been defeated. A death in the House of Ballads gives an opportunity, a chance for one hero to join the ranks of the greatest champions in fay-telling. Olain, Kreth, Wenson the Bold. Do you, do any of you, have the courage to pass the confirmation? If you do, your adventures will be sung to the heavens for all eternity. This does not concern you, mortal. You would not, could not, understand. One of our most beloved heroes has fallen. Sir Sagril's passing leaves his legend in peril. A seat in the House of Ballads cannot remain empty, lest the great stories end. And that must never happen. You are bold, but that is not how tales are told in the House of Ballads. Only a worthy fey hero may finish his quest, complete his story. However, these are strange times. Magic weaves itself in new patterns and change. It is the one thing with which we fey have no experience. If you so choose, join the other pledges. You too may attempt to defeat the Grave Thresh, recover Sagril's ring, and take his seat in the House of Ballads. The lair of the Thresh is east of this great house, in the hollow of Gorgoth. In the evenings after dark, you can hear its disturbed slumber. The cries are unsettling. Go now and make the Hi. You made it. You're back. I was so worried that the Fae had taken out the revenge on you. As usual, I was wrong. The Fae has recovered, thanks to your potion. In fact, she wishes to stay in the village for the next several weeks as she recovers. Goreheart will be a new community, a place of compassion, and it's thanks to you. Please, take my sword and buckler. They will serve you well, as they have served me. Bye now. Greetings, stranger. I understand that you are to thank for my longevity. I'm in your debt. Our people have too long stood apart. Perhaps together we can change that. Don't be 
the shop. Exciting, isn't it? A fae living in the village like an ordinary person. Some excitement for a change. Two legs, do you come to me empty-handed? What is the meaning of this? The well holds powerful magic, as old as these trees. Our elders told us its true name. Your two-leg kind might <laughs> call it the well that wanders. Throughout the forest, it would vanish and reappear like a wolf on hunt. But what prey it seeks. Hmm. Before I was cursed, I remember <laughs> strongly atop the water was the scent of leechwood. Perhaps the well seeks that. Leechwood? That is the two leg name for that wood that feasts on strength. It appears through the <laughs> forest. Should not be hard to find. The scent of the well was strong with its odor. It must be what the well is seeking. Return oh. swiftly. <sighs> I thought only the Warsworn used the Yolven Road. Penry Kell's my name. Traveller by vocation. I have no trade, but I do have a job for one like yourself. Interested? Goodbye.
interesting. You're not at all what I expected to find here. I trailed a band of Tuatha to this place. They killed the Fate Weaver. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. Knowing you, you're definitely involved. But something tells me I know you better than you knew yourself. Don't you remember me? I'm hurt. No time for introductions now. The Tuatha are still on the move. I'm certain that we'll see one another again. Soon. Be on your way. What happened here? Arden's dead. How did this happen? Why would they have come here? Why kill a harmless old fate weaver? They couldn't know that you were headed here. I mean, the stingy bastard owes me a week of drinks. Doesn't mean he deserved to be murdered. I was hoping to avoid this, but I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. It's a sacred place to weave fate weavers. Somewhere that I was hoping to avoid. I was hoping Arden could take you, but I guess it comes down to me. No reason getting anyone else killed over it. Go, I'll meet you there. Once I give Arden a proper funeral. This is twice now I've buried the bodies left in your wake. 